Happy Easter, everybody. What a great day. Look at the sun. It's supposed to rain today. Number one, it's Easter, and how great is Easter? Look at this. Perfect skies. A little bit of breeze, probably about 55 degrees. And it's day two of the boat trailer restore, rebuild, what's his, what's his, what's us? So there's a the trailer. Um, didn't do anything yesterday. I did get, one thing I did get, I got a, I went out and got some paint, which I'm not supposed to get paint right now, shh, because governor doesn't want us to, but I got some paint for these Rust-Oleum, flat black. Got some of the primer of the same kind. Got a thing of some cheap wire wheels. Got a couple other wire wheels. Got a big old drill. We're going to use that. Plug that in. I'm going to take all this stuff off. Uh, the lights are new. Keeping these. Fenders are a couple bolts. This wood right here. Taking that off. And that is going to get replaced with some other wood. New wood. Same thing. I don't know. Maybe I'll just... It seems pretty dry. It's got a crack back there. I was thinking I could even just paint this stuff, enamel this stuff, and then wrap it with carpet. It looks good. I mean, it's not rotted. He just said he just put those on last year, so that's no big deal. Um, these things are good enough, but not the best. This one's broken. So I'll probably get one, two, three, four of those. Um, maybe replace. Don't know yet. That's about 25 bucks. We might just keep it paint this obviously that is good enough and don't know what i'm gonna do with that. so that's where we're at and we will uh we'll start getting taking these off 9 16 ratchet and wrench here we go no What is happening everybody what is happening so today's day two of the rebuilding of the old trailer so here we are it's in the garage i got pretty much everything off of it i took the lock off of there i took the uh, front bumper crank winch holder deal off getting a new one of these this is i really like to cut this it's welded underneath too though. It's welded under here, it's welded here, it downs both sides. It's welded one, two, three, four, five sides, and that's just a lot to grind out. I don't feel like dealing with that. I can easily hit that with a wire brush, paint it up all black like I'm going to, which is what I'm doing. We're doing black, we're doing flat black, whole trailer, boom, flat black. It's gonna be great. So, got some new rollers. Got new rollers coming. Um, I got new lights already for the side. I ripped those ones off. These are riveted on, so I got to get those. The lights for the back are all good. All that stuff. This garage is a mess. There's the two motors. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. Grinding stuff down, sanding stuff down. I used the bell sander. It was great. Bell sander worked perfect. It's got an old Harbor Freight bell sander, so. Bell sander's perfect. Everything's red. Everything I touch is red. Gloves are all red. My mask. My mask is all red if I didn't have this on. I'm sure my face is red. I haven't seen that yet. Probably can't hear what I'm saying. I got the Harper Free Special over here. Belt sander. I think it was like 20, 24 bucks or something like that. But I've had it. I've had it for like two, three years. I actually sand down every single one of my centerpieces for my wedding with this thing. That was a lot. That was a lot of tables. It's not bad. I mean, Harbor Freight, Chicago Electric. I'd buy it again. It lasts you for 25 bucks. It lasts you five years. Shit. You got my money. 80 grand. Thank <laughs> you. 
been a couple hours. That's where we're at. Got it all sanded down. I mean, shoot, there's bare metal some places. There's white paint. There's red paint. So got it all sanded down. Took the grinding wheel, went all on the inside of all of these. I wish it was just square stock, but it's not. It's just U channel stock, but hey, all those hit all these with the grinding wheels. All those, there's still a little bit of discoloration on it, but I knocked all the rust off. Same here. The only thing I have to do, I just took the wheels, the fenders off, the fenders. I mean, they're a little rusty on the inside, but the outside's fine, so. Woo, all right. All right, time to flip it. Cool, let's flip it over, see what we can do. What's happening? Well, I might have to call it quits for today, but I did get everything all squared away. Just where I needed to be to start painting. The only thing I have to do is put a tarp down. Hi, sweetie. Um, yeah, I mean, I got uh, wheels off. Everything's ground down. I use wire wheels. I got wire wheels over here that I was using. I got another pack of wire wheels. Um, all these brackets are straightened out now. Everything's been hit with either wire wheel, sandpaper, both, everything here. I'm not gonna paint these hubs. I'm just gonna paint this axle through. All that's done. This has all been ground out. Everything is ready for paint. Everything, 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 even the inside of there. I even got a uh, I threw a little bit of paint on these. I had the hitch. I mean, the hitch is the hitch. Ground it down a little bit. Still got the sticker on it. Don't care. Should have taken that off. Damn it. Anyways, um, and this is the winch uh, stand. Had a little bit of rust on it. Hit it with the sandpaper. I'm going to flat black it anyways. I'm putting, uh, this is just primer right here. So I'll put a coat of primer, a couple of coats of flat black. That's what I'm going to do with this too. I'm going to lay a tarp down. Lay a tarp down. Get everything else covered up right now just to... Stuff that I don't want to get paint all over. Um, so yeah, I'm going to lay a tarp down on the floor here. Uh, shoot, start spraying. So that's it. I mean, we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. I got the gas tank in today, which is cool. Um, I got the right one, which is even cooler. Um, I got the six gallon just because I don't want to mess around with it. I don't want it to stop for gas all the time. And Three gallons if you're cruising around the lake. Yeah, you know. Who knows? I mean, I could always take three gallons and a little extra one gallon just to get me home type of gas, but why why mess around with... So, yeah, got the gas tank. Um, six gallon. This one's key. The one on Amazon, $104 or whatever it is, because it's got the full gauge. Um, it comes with, the, comes with the attachments, which are somewhere. Let's jump. Attachments are over here. Comes with this bag right here, so you get the, where'd it go? I didn't lose it already, did I? It's here somewhere. You get the attachment that goes to the boat, or to the to the gas tank itself, and then you get the one that goes to the motor, which will hook up on the motor. All right, boom, there. And I got the right one, so that makes me happy. I had to get the some Mercury Yamaha. It threw me off at first because I didn't know that this Mariner. I thought Mercury. I mean, I thought Mar uh, Mercury made all the Mariners, but uh, I found out that they actually uh, Yamaha made them back in the '90s, late '80s. So yeah, at the camera. Say hi. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. But about dinner time. Kids are getting crabby. We are. Uh, we're gonna call today for right now. Maybe I'll sneak out after the kids go to bed, but boat trailer, day two, I got I got a little bit done. I mean, I, I everything's ground down, sand down, every, I mean, it takes a while to get in all the grooves and everything. It takes a while, so I'm happy with the progress so far. I'll keep going where I'm at and 
Well, uh, I'm getting everything knocked out. I still got to do the latch over here. I have the two brackets. This is the taillight. It's the taillight. Taillights are new, um, but that bracket's not new. I got new bolts for it already, um, but I got a. Uh, I got to paint those. I got to paint that one. Obviously, this one right here. And it's got the license plate bracket on it too. And then this is the latch that locks the trailer down because it is a tilt trailer. So there is the gist of it where we're at right now. And I'm so excited. This is going to be great. My wife asked me today, why did you not do the boat first and do the trailer second? Yeah, <laughs> great question. I probably should have done that. I do want to modify the boat too. Once again, out for today hopefully hopefully get back here tonight Hi. to put our first coat of primer on this bad boy <laughs> later on y'all